and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight, a really delicious and amazing tasting baked chicken that is covered in a honey and lemon glaze. So let's go see how we make this savory honey lemon chicken. All the ingredients and as I do I'm going to start putting this dish together super easy what I have is about three pounds of chicken parts I have one whole chicken that I cut up and about four chicken thighs that I had in the freezer that needed to be used I just cut the chicken up and I thawed out the, th the thighs and that's what we're using today so three pounds of chicken about a pound and a half of potatoes whatever is your preference I have chosen some smaller ones and I have quartered them I have three medium-sized yellow onions that I have peeled, but I did not cut the ends off. I just cut them into quarters. This is so that during the cooking process, they are going to stay together. That root end, stem end, is going to keep these together. I have one lemon that has been sliced thinly. I have a half a cup of butter that is melted, a half a cup of local honey, whatever your preference is, I have a half a cup of honey. I have about six cloves of garlic that I have chopped and approximately half a cup of lemon juice. So what I have here is my big bowl and I'm going to go ahead and put the honey in here. I'm going to add the lemon juice, the melted butter, and the garlic. And I'm going to whisk these together. I have the oven preheated at 375 degrees. Now, what I want to do is add a little seasoning. I'm going to use my Sedged Chicken Spice, and you can use whatever you like. If you have a favorite chicken seasoning, you could just use salt and pepper. You could use salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm going to throw in about a teaspoon and a half of my Sedged Chicken Spice. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken. I'm going to put our onions in here and our potatoes too, as well as these lemon slices. And then you're going to get messy. You get your hands in here and coat everything in that delicious honey lemon butter glaze. And this is going to give everything a nice coating. And then we're going to go ahead and lay this out on a prepared baking sheet. All right, I have laid out everything from the bowl, the chicken, the onions, the potatoes. And then I took the lemon slices and I arranged them over the top. These are going to caramelize as well, just like everything else. 375 degree oven. We're going to pop that in there for an hour. I'm gonna check it at 45 minutes. When it's time to bring this out, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, it has been about an hour, an hour and I am a steamy face now. Mm -hmm. All right. It smells incredible. I will say I did check it at 45 minutes. Um, wherever you put the lemons, it's going to not brown as well, so I moved the lemons around just so that those parts see here there's a lemon here and you can see it's significantly lighter than where it the lemon wasn't so it's no biggie but the lemons are nice and caramelized and everything is done the potatoes are done the onions are nice and tender the chicken is finished now we're going to go ahead and plate this up and we're going to serve you a plate because i know you're hungry mm -hmm. there you have it delicious savory roasted honey lemon chicken and I have to tell you how delicious this is Rick hasn't tasted it yet but the potatoes are done the onions are perfectly roasted and caramelized the chicken is also the same and the skin is nice and crispy and everything is beautiful I'm gonna have just like stick this in Rick's mouth because I know he's just gonna love it I have to. you have to you don't mind my fingers Good? Yeah. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, it's good. 
this is so good and so easy and you throw it in the oven for an hour while you're off doing something else it cooks itself everything is in one pan except for your veggie and I just heated up some frozen mixed vegetables and dinner's ready so give this a try I know you're gonna love it and I hope you try it and I hope you love it and until next time I'll see ya for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!